Mike Anthony. Today's the day, the final showdown. When the dust settles and the smoke clears, the only thing you're gonna hear is BOOM! It's over! It's a wrap! Break! Today is the day! The day that Mike Anthony rises to the top and it marks the day the jury falls to the bottom. Whatever it takes, whatever it takes, loved by few, hated by many, damned by none, respected by all, whatever the hell it takes. Both of those two men stay ready and I can't wait to see them today. It's the final showdown in today's main event, but first, tag team action on the way. First, making their way down to the ring, the team of Danny B. Good and DJ Brown. Father, son, tag team, and I love it. The Grind City Rumble, they brought the nunchucks and check it out, they know how to use them. Father Son Tag Team Competition the Grind City Rumble. And their opponents, the Skimmerhorns with the Gold Mikey! continues to run wild and you can hear it capacity crowd here at the memphis wrestling wrestle center 3296 winbrook drive in memphis join us live the lineup for 2022 is off the charts championshipwrestlingmemphis.com and we're starting out with tag team action Mikey's newfound fame has definitely gone to his head, and the Skimmerhorns are not a fan. Yeah, they don't like it, not one single bit. It's like, calm down, calm down, so we can concentrate on winning this match. I mean, he's fully invested in winning the match. I don't know how concentrated he is. As Brad. I don't know if he's ever concentrated on anything in his life. Brad puts a hamper on the fun, tells Mikey to stop. All right, tag team action, and you can see Danny B. Good handing over the necklace that carries his Memphis Trios ring. DJ Brown has one as well, and the other man that has one is Derek the King, but it was given to him by Mike Anthony. Here we go, also Danny B. and DJ. Former tag team champions did one of the most honest and admirable, admirable things I've seen in all my years of watching wrestling, and that's handing the tag team titles back over after unknowingly winning them by cheating, thanks to Derek King. Anyway, if you missed that, go back to youtube.com slash championship wrestling and check it out. It's in the archives. As Danny B locking up with Briar Skimahorn, he thinks about a punch, he says, no, I don't need to. I don't need to use a closed fist and gives a clean break. There's some sportsmanship, Maria. Uh, if you guys could feel that stare I just got here at the desk. Men, I know you know what I'm talking about. Ball and elbow tie up and Danny B with a big arm drag followed by a hip toss. Big drop kick, one of the best here at Memphis Wrestling. Brad comes in. A bit of the same for Brad Stinkerhorn and a kick right to the jaw. 
the hot stepper, Danny B. Good, is rumble ready. It definitely appears that way, and the skim horns need a little bit more work. There's the tag to DJ Brown. He has absolutely been on fire everywhere he goes. We've seen him on AEW Dark, travels all across the state of Texas and Arkansas, and of course picked up the tag team titles with his dad several weeks back here on Memphis Wrestling and looking to get back in the title hunt with a victory over the Skimahorns. And check this out, like father, like son. And Brad. Truly so much energy. I'm just looking at that ring wishing I had that much energy. But I don't. DJ Brown. Oh, what a kick. Right to the side of the face. Followed by another kick. These educated feet of DJ Brown might have knocked Briar unconscious. I mean, I think it's about time to tag Uncle Mikey in. Uncle Mikey is not taggable in this match. Oh. I'm sure. There's you know tag. what? That's never stopped him before, Dustin. D you're right about that. DJ tags his father, Danny B. Good, who not only wins matches here, but seems to be beating father time as well. This man is in fantastic shape. Still picking up dubs, still winning championships. The Memphis Trios and also the tag team titles. And he is in control so far in this tag team match. Danny B with a snap mare, scale in the top rope. Double axe handle. High risk, high reward that time. Danny B. A second snap mare going back one more time. That time it was blocked. Fans Breyer. As the Skimmerhorn's on top, we'll see if Danny B can fight back. Don't you dare go away. There's the tag. Here's what's coming up for Memphis Wrestling. Join us Saturday, January 29th for our next free watch party at Dave & Buster's. Watch WWE Royal Rumble with us. It's free to watch. Plus, we'll give you a free power card. That's Dave & Buster's Wolf Chase. Sunday, January 30th, former AEW Women's World Champion, the native beast, Nyla Rose, is coming to Memphis Wrestling. Plus, the man beast, Rhino, and the return of Tiger Joe. Tickets will sell out, so get yours in advance at championshipwrestlingmemphis.com. Sunday, February 13th, celebrate one year of Memphis Wrestling. It's the Memphis Wrestling Anniversary Spectacular, featuring the Ring of Honor World Champion, Jonathan Gresham. Don't miss history being made at the Wrestle Center. Dates for March will be announced soon, and you won't believe who's coming to Memphis Wrestling next. All tickets and details are available right now at championshipwrestlingmemphis.com. Mid-South weather body slamming your roof? Don't worry, Pro Shingle can help. Whether it's a repair, cleaning, or a brand new roof, ProShingle offers free estimates and the best financing. Call 901-258-6503. Sunday, January 30th, you can meet the Man Beast, the Native Beast, Tiger Joe. It's Memphis Wrestling Live. Get your tickets right now at championshipwrestlingmemphis.com. Welcome back to Memphis Wrestling, and as you can see, Danny B, for the duration of that commercial break, was trapped in the wrong corner. The Skimmerhorns. I, I would say, oh, that was almost That a was three. very close. I would say it was three on one in the corner, but Uncle Mikey you refused You said to he wasn't taggable. Well, I he guess was, he overheard you. No, he was re refused to take part in that. I mean, he, he said, I don't I guess because he overheard you say that he couldn't. And he's all of a sudden a good guy. All of a sudden not interfering in anything. Down here on the floor. 
as DJ is being held back by the referee just long enough for B-Rad Stinkerhorn to throw a couple of punches right to the face of Daniel B. The elevation on that splash, double team style. What is that? What is that? Give. Move. Yeah, but he cannot just jump into the ring. He was going to make the save because he thought that would be it, but the Skimmerhorns, Brad caught him, looked up, just so happened to see him coming. Yeah, Dustin, I saw all of that happen. Danny B trying to make the tag in the wrong corner. He is all sorts of scrambled. He's been beaten on for several minutes, uh, even yeah. through the commercial break. He desperately needs, that is disgusting. He is spinning. I mean, I know it was chucked and everything, but. Sure he's not doing it we on don't purpose do that. for you. There's Breyer with another big He right desperately hand. needs to get to that corner with his son. Danny B is in tough shape right now. Oh, Sprawled across that, that top hurt. rope. My back. There's the tag. DJ telling the ref, one in, one out, or I'm getting in there. And before Breyer can even get a breath, smart tagging here. A constant tag in and out, always keeps the fresh man in. Double team move. Blocked, and there's only one other person that I've seen do that before, and it is Danny B. There's the tag! After the double drop kick, DJ Brown. Not looking good for the Skimmerhorns. Throwing some haymakers. I was gonna say, over the top, well, if this was the Grind City Rumble, he would be eliminated. But it's not. DJ. With Brad. Take a look. Off the top. Uh. Block Buster mm. by DDB. And that's it. Big win for the Hot Steppers. Your winners of the match, Danny B. Good and DJ Brown. The Hot Steppers victorious today, getting their hands raised, headed to the pay window. Now let's take a look back at the instant replay. DJ Brown and Danny B. Good make perfect tag team partners. Yeah, like, father look at that teamwork they did in the end. Son. There they are, fans, your winners of tag team competition the grind of the city rumble. Danny be good and DJ Brown. Take a look at the parking lot here. Let's head out there, see exactly what's going on. I, is that Washington? He's here. You know what? A couple weeks ago, the posse took out my partner Aaron. He's not 100%, but he's doing better. And they stole our tag team titles. But I'm here to support my brother right now. That thing can happen later. I'm gonna focus about that later. I got you, bro. Let's go handle business. Big Swole. Oh, hey, what's up, bro? Can we get a quick word with you? Sure, man. What you got? Everybody wants to know what's up with the posse. The posse? We're talking about the posse right now? Then we got the Grind City Rumble coming up. Look, let me tell you what. After the Rumble, come find me. We'll talk about the posse. Center as he's excited to be in one on one competition, or should I say, excited about being in action. Oh yeah! Memphis, Tennessee, we already know 
And you remember what oh, happened? Oh, he's got it on. It was last hidden. Last year at the Grind City Rumble. I, I forget a lot of things. Juice, juice. Is he going to refresh my memory? Action Jackson entered the Grind City Rumble at number one. Oh, yes, and made it yes, all yes. The way now I remember. The end and came up just a little short. I remember. That Alex was unfortunate. Unfortunate. Okay. Thanks to Johnny Dotson. Thanks for refreshing my memory. That was very unfortunate. Grind City Rumble is next week. Every man and woman for themselves. Action Jackson will take part of that match, as will Carlos Alexander Rios. And we have a good old fashioned wrestling match. <laughs> Two very respected athletes here at Memphis Wrestling. Two that don't cut corners, and dare I say, they're two good guys. Mm -hmm. Who you got, Maria? Nah. This, this is what Memphis wrestling and competition is all about. I don't know. I'm going to put my my money on Action Jackson. Action Jackson? My guess. Carlos Alexander Rios picked up a big victory a couple of weeks back. Trying to get himself on a streak here in 2022. Big shoulder tackle by Action Jackson. Is that a two or a one? Either way, near fall as Action Jackson goes back to the standing side headlock. You can see right there perfectly on your screen Action Jackson's backpack or his platypus, so to speak. His what? It's a platypus. That's what it's called, Maria. The backpack? Get on Amazon like, like you usually do and find me oh. a platypus for the broadcast position here. If I did, I it would look like a little stuffed animal, like a duck, and uh, oh, that's what a platypus look at this. is. Carlos Alexander Rios with a kip up to his feet. Welcome to Sonic. May I take your order? Can I get two fatty milks? Melting the cheese. Order up. Sonic Patty Melt. Our next free watch party at Dave & Buster's is WWE Royal Rumble. Join us Saturday, January 29th. It's free. Plus, we'll give you a free power card. That's Dave & Buster's Wolf Chase. Need a new fit and a fresh pair of kicks? Thrifty Man has new and pre-owned like new items just for you. 2235 Covington Pike, Thrifty Man, where men can dress nice for a low price. The Memphis Wrestling Fan of the Week is sponsored by Orion Federal Credit Union. Check out all the ways that Orion is redefining banking at orionfcu.com. Welcome back to Memphis Wrestling. This contest continues. It's a struggle back and forth between the returning Action Jackson and Carlos Alexander Rios. The fans are really getting a treat here today. And it's only week two of the Grind City Rumble with a huge main event still to come. And Zay Washington of the Young Goats is back in the house. You heard from him just a little bit earlier. He's here, he's got his brothers back. Action back inside the squared circle here. Carlos Rios throwing a knee, just trying to get a little distance between him and Action. Bulldog by Action Jackson. Big moonsault. And a kick. Springboard moonsault nearly picks up the victory for Action Jackson. Also still to come, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to hear from the women's division. There's a lot going on as we're heading in to the Grind City Rumble. It's not just an opportunity on the line for the Memphis Heritage Championship. If a woman were to win the title, or win the Grind City Rumble, excuse me, she could go for the women's championship, mm -hmm. or even the Memphis Heritage Championship. Mm -hmm. Accurate. Every man and woman for themselves next week, but this week, Carlos Rios picking up some steam with a couple of right hands. I hope the women are strategizing how they're going to get the men out first instead of uh, going against each other. 
That's actually very good strategy. First front suplex there by Carlos Rios. He goes for the cover. Two. Near fall. Referee Ray Ray Sanders was inches away from counting three. Carlos once again, stiff right hand. Backs Jackson to the corner. Holy moly. Action Jackson landing that moonsault on his feet. Like a superhero. This one's blocked. Kick, reverse, caught. caught. <laughs> Fly spread by Action Jackson. And that is it. Your winner of the match, Action Jackson! Let's take a look back at the instant replay. The return of Action Jackson is successful. Next week, ladies and gentlemen, will he finally win the Grind City Rumble after getting so close last week? And it looks like Action Jackson's calling a microphone. When I say action, you say Jackson. Action. 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 Action Jackson is rumble ready. Oh yeah. Action Jackson's rumble ready. And so is the women's division. Take a look. At Spats. I have been trying to reach you for the longest. You don't even know what I have to say to you. Amber apologizing here. I'm so sorry. Look, I'll even give this to you. Look, look, I'll lay down. It's the holidays. I'm feeling festive. You got to win the women's championship on your own, but I got she you. Says she's okay? offering to lay down. What? It looks like Amber is apologizing. The bell has rung. Skyler is a little reluctant here. Oh, Wait, and just a second! <laughs> and she picks Skyler! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Skyler oh. has been eliminated from the gauntlet for gold. That's pretty Wait smart. Wait oh. about to say, right out of your playbook, Heather. Right out of your playbook. I can't falter for that one. That was smart. And Skyler not looking good falling for that. But Skyler. she's clearly going to. She, she wants the camera. She wants the camera. Oh my, oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Not the eyelashes! Oh my gosh! In your living room, Skylar just yanks Amber Rodriguez's eyelashes off, and That's I don't a dirty know about move. that pain, but you two do. That's oh, a dirty she's move. She's got a foot on her hand. Oh my gosh! That glove is coming off. Skylar oh no. getting some retribution, and I bet you love this, Heather. I mean, because you're she's pulling her fingernails off. I'm not gonna stop it, you know what I mean? Like, she hasn't left the ring yet, why should I Literally, go in there? Skylar just pulled Amber Rodriguez's did she just pull fingernail it? off. She did, she did. What a oh. kick by Skylar! <laughs> Heather Monroe stepping in to pick the bones. What a DDT by Heather Monroe. And it's just that easy for the Killer Bay. Here in Memphis Wrestling, where the women's division is featured. Heather Monroe's gauntlet for the gold went exactly how she planned. You know what? I don't have much to say. I let my actions speak for me, but Amber, next week, you are mine. Guess who decided to open their big, imperfect, non-hyaluronic acid injected mouth? Skylar. Well, since you want to talk now, I'm sorry, but I heard nothing but ignorance. So I'll tell you what, for the Grind City Rumble, I'm going to burst your bubble, I'm going to shatter your dreams in the way that only I can, because I have to focus on my new clients, Thunder Rosa, Jordan Grace, I'm going to make you perfect, trust me. I'm a professional. 
Hello, Championship Wrestling from Memphis fans. It's me, the Killer Bay, Heather Monroe, your fearless women's champion. And you know, I've noticed something recently. See, everybody wants a chance at my title, but everyone also seems a little too distracted to actually get it. You see, I noticed some things about Skylar and Amber specifically. You guys don't seem to like each other very much anymore. Hmm. Now you guys are in the rumble to fight for a chance at my title and it seems like you guys might wanna rip each other to shreds. <laughs> go ahead, ladies. You go ahead and do that. And once you're done, whoever can come out on the other side, I'll take what's left. Because I'm not a distracted champion. I'm a smart champion. I'm a fighting champion. And that's why no matter who faces me, I will still be champion. Good luck, ladies. <laughs> Here's what's coming up for Memphis Wrestling. Join us Saturday, January 29th for our next free watch party at Dave & Buster's. Watch WWE Royal Rumble with us. It's free to watch. Plus, we'll give you a free power card. That's Dave & Buster's Wolf Chase. Sunday, January 30th, former AEW Women's World Champion, the Native Beast, Nyla Rose, is coming to Memphis Wrestling. Plus, the Man Beast, Rhino, and the return of Tiger Joe. Tickets will sell out, so get yours in advance at championshipwrestlingmemphis.com. Sunday, February 13th, celebrate one year of Memphis Wrestling. It's the Memphis Wrestling Anniversary Spectacular, featuring the Ring of Honor World Champion, Jonathan Gresham. Don't miss history being made at the Wrestle Center. Dates for March will be announced soon, and you won't believe who's coming to Memphis Wrestling next. All tickets and details are available right now at championshipwrestlingmemphis.com. Welcome to Sonic. May I take your order? Can I get two fatty milks? Melt in the cheese. Order up. Sonic Patty Melt. What's up, Memphis? This is Jaron Jackson Jr. from the Grizzlies, encouraging you all to shop where I shop. Platinum Jewelers here in Memphis. They do custom jewelry and have two locations in the area. One is 545 Perkins Extended in East Memphis. The other is 9387 Poplar next to Fresh Market in Germantown. Go to my spot, Platinum Jewelers. It's time for the Pro Shingles Slam of the Week. He looks like a rhinoceros Ooh. trying to fly. Oh. Wait a second. That was not nice, Dustin. He's caught. Big swole. Caught? Is that what you call that? Swole slam. Oh, my goodness. One, two, three. That is it. Save $500 on a complete roof replacement. 901-258-6503. Join us right now for live chat on youtube.com slash championship wrestling. Making his way down to the ring, Jay Smooth! Well, last week didn't go quite as planned for these guys. Crossman came out here last week and said that Martin would pick up the victory last week and they would own the Rumble. And that this week, Jay Smooth will be victorious. And of course, next week, Crossman himself is going to win the Grind City Rumble. And there they are. They're very, 0 for 1. Dustin, very rarely does anything work out for these guys. Now that's very, very true. But today, it's going to be tough. And his opponent, Rashad Lee! Rashad Lee! Saw him earlier get out of the car with Tate Washington. Some people might be wondering exactly what's going on there, so we'll pull the curtain back just a little bit. Rashad Lee is the blood brother of Zay Washington. We've seen Rashad Lee here on the program many, many times, just trying to make his way up the ranks of Memphis Wrestling. Meanwhile, he wanted no help from his brother. That's not what this is about. I mean, talent probably runs in the family. It's genetic. Zay Washington We're gonna is find here out. supporting his brother. Aaron Roberts is still out uh, indefinitely. Doesn't look like he'll be returning anytime soon after what the posse did, putting that spike into his eyeball. 
Referee rings the bell. Rashad Lee versus Jay Smooth here. Look at the speed of Rashad Lee. And a drop kick, look at this. We've been impressed with Rashad's athletic ability and his speed in the past. You can see a major difference in size here against Jay Smooth. Though, I don't think in the past I knew that they were brothers, but now that explains it because it must run in the family. Yeah, absolutely. And, and that was something that Zay Washington and Rashad did not want to make public just because. Well, it's a good thing I didn't know about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. Don't want any preferential don't keep secrets treatment. very well. Check that out. Rashad Lee with a springboard and then one right in the mush for Crossman. That was probably the best thing that could have happened uh, for him. That was probably the worst thing that could have happened because he turned his back on his opponent, Jay Smooth, who was able to capitalize. Yeah, but one less person out of the way now and he'll come back. As Jay Smooth, very similar to rugged Ronnie Garvin, stomping every limb on Rashad Lee's body. And Cross is already back up, so I guess it was the worst. And the one, smoothest it? elbow drop in Memphis wrestling. That's Jay Smooth. He goes for the cover. Says who? One count. Says Jay. Says Jay and Cross and Martin. <laughs> it's week two of the grind, City Rumble, and up next is your main event, the final showdown. The gun show Brett Michaels defends his Memphis Heritage Championship against the genetic nightmare Mike Anthony. That's coming up next, immediately following this match. And you can see on the floor, oh, Martin. What in the world? Having his way with Rashad and poor Cody. Cody, our new referee in there, fresh off being trained or still training at the Memphis Wrestling Wrestle Center. Didn't see a thing. There's a two count. Rashad Lee in rough shape here. Maria's right on the money when she says three on one. Every time Cross, Martin, or Smoother here. Neck breaker of sorts. I call that the Mr. Perfect. I mean, Cross might have been right about one two. victory. Another kick out there. He's got an elbow in the face. If it was in his face, looked like he was trying to get in his eyes there a little bit with that forearm and the point of his elbow. It's week two of the Grind City Rumble. If you missed last week, you've got to go back and take a look at that wild strap match where the fans laid the hide to the Crowleys and even Jimmy Blaylock. This week's main event, the gun show and the genetic nightmare and of course next week, Thunder Rosa, La Mara Mara and Jordan Grace, the Hosset will take part in our Grind City Rumble. Nobody home as Rashad Lee cartwheels out of the way in style. Rashad scaling the top rope, much like his big brother, Zay Washington. All the way to the top. Wait just a second. Yeah, fans. what is this? Wait a second, I don't know. What in the world? The, the posse, those guys aren't supposed to be here. They're actually suspended indefinitely for what they've done to Aaron Roberts. And he dives to the floor, onto the posse. Not a smart move at all, but a smart move. Cross getting Jay Smooth out of there. What are you guys doing? The posse are suspended. They're not even supposed to be here. Jay Smooth and Cross don't mind. What do they do? Now they've got Zay Washington's brother, Rashad. For what? Zay is here. We think oh unless goodness. he's been attacked somewhere. Simon picked him up like a rag doll and slammed him so the easy. The posse ruined Christmas. Oh suspended indefinitely. They stole the tag team titles. What is this? 
Oh my gosh, we need to get some help in there. These security guards need to get in there. Oh no! Here comes Zay Washington! With a chair! That evens the odds up a little bit. And you know A-Rob would be right here by his side if he was capable. Fans, we're gonna get some help for Rashad. We're gonna get the posse the hell out of this Wrestle Center. They're not supposed to be here. I don't think you could say that. They need to get out of here. <laughs> Fans, we're gonna go to a quick break. Big main event on the other side. We need some help from Rashad. Get them out of here, guys. You have to put good things in to get great barbecue out. And no one in Memphis takes more care than Tops. Our master cooks grill the old-fashioned way. Slow, with constant attention in an open pit. See, that's real hickory smoke for even more flavor. From shoulder to ribs or brisket to one of our world-famous burgers, you'll love Tops because we do it right. Real barbecue always has been and always will be. Tops, come get you some barbecue. Sunday, January 30th, you can meet the man beast, the native beast, Tiger Joe. It's Memphis Wrestling Live. Get your tickets right now at championshipwrestlingmemphis.com. Need a new fit and a fresh pair of kicks? Thrifty Man has new and pre-owned like new items just for you. 2235 Covington Pike, Thrifty Man, where men can dress nice for a low price. Need a trusted roofer in the Mid-South? Pro Shingle, a professional roofing company, specializes in complete roof replacement and speedy shingle service with no waiting. They even offer the very best financing. It's the simple choice. 901-258-6503. What's up, Memphis? This is Jaron Jackson Jr. from the Grizzlies, encouraging you all to shop where I shop. Platinum Jewelers here in Memphis. They do custom jewelry and have two locations in the area. One is 545 Perkins Extended in East Memphis. The other is 9387 Poplar next to Fresh Market in Germantown. Go to my spot, Platinum Jewelers. Our next free watch party at Dave & Buster's is WWE Royal Rumble. Join us Saturday, January 29th. It's free. Plus, we'll give you a free power car. That's Dave & Buster's Wolf Chase. Gun Show Brett Michaels. Genetic Nightmare, Mike Anthony. The final showdown. No rules. Grind City Rumble. I'm loved by a few, hated by many, but respected by all. Making his way down to the ring first. Mike Anthony! the Memphis Heritage Championship. He tore this place apart. And you heard him earlier in the program, folks. He's here for one reason, and one reason only, and that's for Brett Michaels' Memphis Heritage Championship. And he doesn't have to wait long. Wait just a second! Brad Michaels! Wasting no time! Waste no time! He throws the championship belt here at the desk and attacks Mike Anthony! I don't know if I heard a bell, but ring it if I didn't! I think you just missed it. We're a Officially underway, and it's nothing more than a glorified fist fight on the floor in the front row of the Wrestle Center. These are two bad dudes. Two of the baddest men walking planet Earth, that's for sure. Mike Anthony, the last time, risked life and limb diving off the top of our camera stage. Brett Michaels nearly put Mike through the wall. And look at this. Mike Anthony is clearing traffic, telling people, get out of the oh way. Oh, my God. And it's a good thing they did. 
Brett Michaels almost put Mike Anthony through that wall again. It's anything goes. Clearly. No holds barred. And it is for the most prestigious championship in all of Memphis wrestling. Here he comes, Mike Anthony. Oh, oh my, my gosh. Goodness. The last time Mike was drilled into that wall, but you better turn around oh, because gosh. the gun show, it'll take more than that. Oh. Mike Anthony. This is an insane fight. Welcome back to Memphis Wrestling. Mike Anthony with a rock bottom, a Uranage suplex onto the ring apron. One of the hardest parts of the squared circle. And there's a bird's eye view right into your living room of what these two men are doing to one another. The referee had to count on the pew. Ringside fans. Pinfalls count anywhere. I don't know if this is finally going to settle the score or not, but Whoa. it is the final showdown. And Mike Anthony is unstoppable so far. You can see the referees trying to make sure that the fans are not in the line of fire, but instead, Brett Michaels' forehead punted like a football. And Mike sure is proud of himself right now. He's feeling good. He's putting up a hard-fought battle, Dustin. Gun Show is in a rough spot, but like he said, Mike, he saw a different side of the Gun Show last time. Big chop. I don't know if I'd be clubbing away at Brett's chest as massive as he is. Cameras being bumped around everywhere. Yeah, let's hope we don't have another accident. We have reinforcements here with our production crew to ensure that each and every second of this fight is caught on camera. We are Memphis Wrestling, ladies and gentlemen. This is Memphis Wrestling. Oh gosh, what are they gonna do? Mm, through the bleachers. They might break the bleachers. They better not break the bleachers. Oh no. The gun show with a reversal. This looks like it's gonna hurt. What are they doing? I don't know, but it looks like it's gonna hurt. It's reversed. Look at the sea of fans, ladies and gentlemen, as Brett Michaels on your left, Mike Anthony on your right, as they both fly off the bleachers. Pro Shingle better look out. Both men are down. Somebody please shut the lobby door so these guys don't tear up Topps Barbecue out there. They need to be contained. You can see the look, the glazed over eyes of Mike Anthony. That's not going to stop him. Our cameramen, our security, the referees, everybody in the line of fire doing what needs to be done to ensure safety and that we have a winner. Oh, no. He's bleeding. If I saw that right, it's kind of hard to see past everybody, but it looks like Mike Anthony might be bleeding on his nose. Gun show going back to the well one more time here. Oh, oh gosh, don't you dare touch that dial. We'll have a winner on the other side. Ladies and gentlemen, Coming to Memphis Wrestling on Sunday, January 30th, former AEW Women's World Champion, the Native Beast, Nyla Rose. Tickets are on sale now at championshipwrestlingmemphis.com. 
our next free watch party at Dave & Buster's is WWE Royal Rumble. Join us Saturday, January 29th. It's free. Plus, we'll give you a free power card. That's Dave & Buster's Wolf Chase. The Memphis Wrestling Fan of the Week is sponsored by Orion Federal Credit Union. Check out all the ways that Orion is redefining banking at orionfcu.com. Need a trusted roofer in the Mid-South? Pro Shingle, a professional roofing company, specializes in complete roof replacement and speedy shingle service with no waiting. They even offer the very best financing. It's the simple choice. 901-258-6503. The Grind City Rumble is presented in part by Pro Shingle, a professional roofing company. Both men once again are down, and you can see referee David Knight unsure what to do because you can't count them out. Security Jason's back there not knowing what to do either, just trying to hold the fans back. Well, don't do anything. That's what I would say. I definitely wouldn't get in the line of fire between the gun show and the genetic nightmare. Get them back to the ring and if all possible. But fans, we knew. We knew this wasn't gonna be contained inside the ring. There was no way oh. possible. No, no, and this is awesome. Both men, over 250 pounds each, doing battle with one another. How long could it possibly last? An exhausted gun show. A bloodied and beaten Mike Anthony. He could very well have a broken nose. Gun show puts the fists up. Mm. Big German suplex by Mike Anthony. He wants it so bad he can taste it, but he's got to earn it. That's what Brett said. Genetic dream, two feet to the face, big gun show lariat. Both men are down. The fans are chanting gun show. Neither man has made it to their feet just yet. I would say who wants it more, but this is all about who can last longer, who can take the most damage and survive. So far it's Mike, now it's Brett. Back and forth. Big right hand by the gun show, staggers Mike Anthony. Back and forth, oh back my gosh. and forth. Blood everywhere. Big elbow! And another one! Michaels wants to hit. There's the spine oh buster! My gosh. He wants to hit Mike Anthony with anything he can. The fans are chanting boom. And he's loading up the gun show lariat. And there it is! All he has to do is cover him. One, two, and he kicked out! The genetic nightmare kicked out of the gun show lariat! You said all he had to do like it was easy or something, Dustin. First time ever, nobody's kicked out of the gun show lariat. Except for that man, the genetic nightmare. He's not human. The gun show showing frustration. Loaded up one more time. Ducked. What a kick. Mike nearly kicked the gun show's head off. Genetic dream once again. That usually finishes opponents for Mike Anthony. One, two, and a kick out! The gun show just kicked out of the genetic dream.
Mike Anthony leaves the ringside area. And what does he have? He has another pair of handcuffs. Mm. And you see security, Big Dan there. Security Jason, among others, telling him no. The last time Mike Anthony had handcuffs. And a low blow from the gun show. Turnabout is fair play. Sure is. And now the gun show. He's got the handcuffs. A taste of his own medicine. As the gun show handcuffs Mike Anthony's arms behind his back. And the look on Mike Anthony's face says it all. And a stare down. It's mm. the stare down. Oh boy. The gun show with brass knucks. And he's wrapping that chain around his bicep. And there's nothing Mike Anthony can do about it. He's saying, do it. And he does. Mike Anthony decapitated with a gun show lariat. And still. Fans, we're all out of time. The gun show reigns supreme. The winner of the match. The Gun Show, Brett Michael! That's all the time we have for week number two of the Prime City Rumble. The Gun Show stands tall. He retains the Memphis Heritage Championship. And don't you dare miss next week. It's every man and woman for himself with an opportunity at Brett's Championship on the line. It's the Grind City Rumble. I am Dustin Starr. My lovely Maria, and he is the Memphis Heritage Champion, 